So Dave, uh, we're out in the field. We got your rifle dialed in. It's beautiful. But I want to go over a video of the torque specs for you real quick. So the bottom floor plate screws, you do not ever need to remove this one. That just holds the trigger guard assembly on. The rear action screw and front action screw should be torqued 55 to 60 inch pounds. So those are, those are dialed in. And your scope rings are the ring caps should be 25 to 27, no more. And mm -mm. we're just going to validate it. 25 to 20? 18 to 20. 18 to 20. Okay. So we're going to go to 20. And you go in an X pattern. Laura put this on for you so she knows the proper specs. Every manufacturer is <laughs> different. 20 inch pounds in an X pattern. We're just validating after the shoot. And then we're going to shoot a target. Make sure no center impact changed. Everything looks spot on. Okay, so those are put at specs. So 55 to 60 on your bottom action screws and uh, 18 to 20, 20 on the scope caps. And then 25 to 30 on the yep. side, and so we did 27. 25. Mm -hmm. All right, to 30 here, so we'll go ahead and validate these while we're out here. Make sure everything is nice and tight and didn't slip. And you do the outside ones, then you do the inside ones. Everything is spot on. And Laura put uh, Loctite blue and did the base to uh, uh, 35 inch pounds. You never have to be played with again. We're going to do another one or two validating shots. Make sure it stays on target. The bolt is getting easier and easier, just like I said, after use. And just remember, it's going to cam down hard on a brand new priming module. It's supposed to, and that's why you're getting good performance. We'll give another shot.